Hi all, welcome back to my channel. Make sure you subscribe, you know the jazz. Anyway, I was here in Hawaii in 2018 for the Mistletoe. So here are some few footage of my trip. We were on the island of Kauai, I believe. This was 2018 and it's really beautiful in Hawaii. I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the scenery for a minute. That's a beautiful view. You guys need to go there. That's in Kauai. This view is my own oasis to die for. Do not get views like this back at home. Top of Waiamea Canyon. That's Waiamea. I think I'm seeing that right. Breathtaking. My hair was so long back in 2018. I just had a comment on that. Look how pretty it is. Okay, we're going to dive into it. Story time, how I thought I was going to die in Hawaii. What could it be? Let me show. Ballistic missile threat inbound to Hawaii. Seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. And I was there for this experience. I would not want to live for this again. Woo! 2018, my parents took me and my husband to Hawaii because we were moving here to Texas. They wanted us to go out with a bang with them. Literally a bang. Let me get started. We arrived January 11th, two days before the missile text. Oh snap, so I'm gonna speed up, tell you what I was doing that morning. So that morning, I had just gotten out of the shower and I was browsing on my Facebook. My parents were down in the pool doing their water aerobic classes. John was doing his stuff and then I was just on the computer. I'm just sitting there browsing on my Facebook and then suddenly my phone goes off. You know how the phone goes off when the Amber Alert calls? Babe, babe, and no one ignored them. So yeah, I'm ignoring this. <laughs> All of a sudden, I hear my husband screaming, grab your stuff, there's a missile coming. I'm like, are you joking? I'm like, he goes, read your text. So I'm reading it and I'm like, holy shit, Bob. So I was really using up. I'm literally in my robe and I'm like, shit, do I just run out as if, as if? And you know, I don't hurry and get dressed because I don't want to be running around in the wilderness naked or whatever. So we run downstairs to the lobby. And you guys, there's no one down there, okay? Like, we go up to the front desk and we're like, what do we do? What do we do? And they were pretty calm. So I'm like, is this like fake or something? They're like, no, it's real. What you need to do is go back to your villa and stay away from windows. I'm like, shit, I'm gonna be blown to smithereens by a missile. And my husband's like, where are your parents? And I'm calling my dad I'm all frantically. It's going to voicemail. I'm like, shit, where's my dad? Where is my dad? And then my husband's just like, I'm gonna run out to the pool. And I'm like, oh crappers, you gotta go off to go to part two. Ah, I'm running out of time. Part two, how I almost thought I was gonna die on my trip in Hawaii. All right, you guys, so we're to the point where my husband's running out to the pool to get my dad and I'm screaming at him like, leave them there. Get your butt back here and die with me. I'm like, and he's all like, Run, take cover in the villa. So I go up to my villa and I'm looking where I can hide. I'm like, well, I'm not hiding in the bat master bathroom. There's windows because they told us to stay away from windows. So I go in our bedroom and our we, our bathroom has a tub and a shower com combined. So I wrap like blankets and pillows and throw them in the tub. And then I'm like buckering down in the bathtub waiting for my husband. <laughs> And you guys, I was not laughing at this time. I was like shitless scared. I'm calling my mom, my brother, and telling them, there's a missile coming and we're gonna die. They're like, oh, you, 
You serious? My husband comes back. He goes, your parents are coming. I'm like, good. I'm like, I don't care at this point. Come in here and die with me. And so we're calling our families, telling them what's going on, freaking out. There's a missile coming. And we turn on the news. There's nothing on there about the missile. My parents come back up and they're like, why are you freaking out? It's not real. I'm like, shut up. I'm going to go die with my husband. <laughs> I'm like, forget you. So anyway, I'm talking to my mom and my brother and they're like, there's nothing on it. There's nothing on this. And then my husband was talking to his dad. They finally got an update from CNN, I believe. And they started reporting about it, how it was a false text. So I'm here crying <laughs> that I'm going to die. But thank goodness we did not die. Anyway, we found out that there really wasn't a missile coming and I'm all calming down and my dad's like, oh, 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 I told you that wasn't real. And the joke is now, when they go to Hawaii, I always say, I hope you guys don't get a missile text when you're there. And <laughs> that's how I thought I was going to die in Hawaii and we have never been back since. We are ready to go home after that trip. One thing I forgot to tell you guys, 45 minutes after the original text that was sent out, they sent out a text saying, oh, false alarm. I don't have that original text. This was like six years ago, seven years ago, whatever. But were you guys there for it? Was anyone there when I was there? We were on, I think it was Maui or Kauai, one of the islands. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> Aloha.